What's up guys, DIY Savage Guy here. Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be hopping into a little bit of the body work that we missed on the original go around. So we're gonna be preparing for paint and I wanna make sure that this car is completely perfect. We got a timeline right now. Don't think it's gonna work out. It's getting really cold. Um, so if you guys are new here, hopefully you guys will learn alongside me. Make sure you guys subscribe down below. Everyone else, thank you so much for being here and continuing to support me. Make sure you guys smash that like button, comment, interact with me. Make sure you guys follow me over on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere else you guys see the DOI Salvage Guy logo. And also make sure you guys check out the new merch line. Just got this sweet shirt. Just came in the other day. And it's really nice, guys. So please support the channel. You got a link down below. All proceeds, 100% go back into it. That way I can continue to give you guys better and better content every single day. A lot has happened since the last video of this S5. So we have moved, I know that the timing of the videos doesn't really correspond to real life right now. Uh, but we are in the new garage, so we are ready to get this car painted. There's really nothing else for us to do on it. So we got it in the garage. I have a space heater coming here tomorrow. So I'm gonna install that, that way we paint in the correct temperatures. And I am going to be painting this vehicle in the garage, got the floor all nice and dumb, so there shouldn't be any dust or anything like that. We're gonna dexter this out just like we did last time, make sure that there's no overspray anywhere, so we'll have drop cloths throughout the whole thing. And this should come out really nicely. So in order to do that right now, what we're going to do is we're going to pull off that fender, we're going to pull off that door, and we're going to just get this situated in here, dry this up, take the panels off the door, and make sure that we are ready to just paint it. Check everything out, make sure we didn't miss anything, and maybe we'll even start the paint prep work right now as well. So we're gonna get started on this, guys. Here we go. I want to give a quick update where we are, where we stand right now. So obviously, <laughs> let's take a couple of the obvious points. Fender's off, the door is off. We took the rocket panel off. We have to order up some clips because we broke them when we got them off. But we're pretty much ready. So we have the door. Door is all set over here. So what we need to do is do some body work on that. Sand it down, maybe do a layer of Bondo over it. Be good with that. And over here, we're pretty good. So we'll probably do a layer of Bondo fiberglass down on the bottom over there where the welds were, just to make sure that it doesn't rust because there's a little bit there right now. So we'll take care of that with the wire brush. We'll sand all the rest of this down and we'll be good for paint guys. So just what we're going to be doing is I did a little research, met a guy that 
was extremely nice. Tom, if you ever watched this, thank you very much for all of the advice. So what we're gonna do here is, I don't need to blend too, too much. So what I'm gonna do is, so I have a quarter panel here, obviously that has a lot of damage. So we're gonna sand the entire, I'm gonna pop this down and show you guys here. So we're gonna sand this whole thing. So we're gonna sand the whole quarter panel and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be spraying clear over the entire thing, but we're gonna be feathering out. So when we get here, so this obviously needs to be painted. We're gonna sand back to here, obviously, and then probably a little bit, we'll feather it, come a little bit further, feather it, come a little bit further, feather it. That way, we're feathered and then we'll clear the whole thing. That way we should have a nice even blend and we don't have to worry about things not looking correctly. So what we're gonna do also is we're gonna do the same thing for the fender. So we're gonna hit the fender as well. But the fender, I'm not certain how we're gonna do just yet because I have to paint the, obviously the rocker panel and all the undering of the car. So I might just, so let's just, for argument's sake. So I don't know, do I connect this back up or, and do I paint it like here? It's gonna be hard though, because I don't have access to the inner fender area over there. So I might have to prop this up somewhere, we'll see. Um, I only have to do feathering and then also clear coat. So it shouldn't be too, too bad, but um, we'll see. So right now it's a work in progress. We'll see how. Now we gotta paint the whole thing. So glad you guys got to see that. DIY Savage guy being an idiot. Um, but we'll keep working. All right, got the car moved outside. We're gonna do some sanding out there. That way we don't get the garage contaminated with any dust or anything like that. Um, we're gonna clean this garage up a little bit. We got a little bit of dust and grime right over there. And what we're gonna do is we are going to Dexter this garage out. We're gonna put some drop cloths down. Definitely don't want to get any paint on Mr. Depressing Blue Man over there. So I wanna make sure that everything is covered up at least as well as possible. Um, we're not gonna make it perfect, but we are going to cover up a lot. That way we don't get too much overspray and cleanup will be a lot easier. So we're gonna hop on that now. All right, quick update. We got the room all dextered out. Not all of it, but for the most part, where we're gonna be spraying. So we got a couple sheets up. I'll uh, probably put another one over here on the garage doors. That way we don't get paint all over those. But right now what we're gonna do, bumper's already prepped, so that's good. Uh, we just need to wax the grease remover it. Then what we're gonna do now is we're going to sand down the door and we're going to sand down the car itself as well. And that way we can lay some primer pretty soon.
All right, so quick update, guys. We got the door sanded down to 60, and in the spots that we're gonna do Bondo, we got it down to the bare metal. So not to do much. Um, so we'll just probably do a little glaze over of a couple spots here, but looks good here. Then up in here, this is where the car took a lot of damage here. So we sanded all that down to as much bare metal as we possibly could. And we're just gonna hit it with a nice thin layer of Bondo. We'll level it off. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to prime and seal this whole area. Um, we'll get that done today. And yeah, so here we go. So mix up the Bondo real quick. We'll get it a nice quick layer on there. All right, we got our door block sander. Got some 60 grit on here. So we're just gonna shape this up a little bit. We're gonna need one more layer of Bondo on here. This is still a little bit low, so we gotta bring that slightly up. Then we have a little bit of spot here that we gotta bring up, and then we forgot to do here, so we're gonna hit that. So we're gonna wax and grease remove it one more time, get it all cleaned up, and then we are going to hit it with the Bondo one more time. It's getting a little late here. Uh, Timetable is definitely messed up a little bit now because I really needed to prime today, really needed to prime this morning and paint tomorrow. But we're not gonna have a, enough time today. Um, I don't wanna rush this, so I'm gonna do it right and make sure that everything is 
sanded and everything correctly. And then tomorrow, um, really wanted to paint, but after tomorrow, we're <laughs> supposed to get snow. And so I gotta figure out a way to paint in the cold weather. Um, yeah, so that's a head scratcher right now. But right now we're gonna finish up this last little Bondo spot. I missed that on the door area, frame, whatever you wanna call it. So we're just gonna sand that down and then we're gonna call it a night here. Pull this car in the garage and then tomorrow we'll sand down any rust that we have because we're at bare metal. And then we will prep it completely, get it primed up, and then it'll sit in the garage until we are ready for paint. That's gonna do it for today's episode, guys. Hope you guys learned a little bit. Um, when you're doing body work, painting, anything like that, you guys gotta be perfect with it. So you're better off taking the extra time, making sure that it's good, instead of going a little bit further and further and further and regretting your decision because once you go, you guys can't go back with this. So if you guys are new here, hopefully you guys learned a little bit. Make sure you guys subscribe down below. Everyone else, thank you guys so much for being here and continuing to support me. Everyone else, please make sure you guys smash that like button. Make sure you guys are following me over on Instagram. Also, make sure you guys check out the new merch line. We did just pick up some new shirts. Um, really nice, guys. Really good quality. So please support me over there. Uh, i got a link down below. And all proceeds 100% go back into the channel. So hopefully you guys will pick up a wrench, buy a car, do whatever you need to do. Just try to become a DIY salvage guy yourself.